thought creates the image of you in that dress, or you in that car, or you in that house, right? So watch, slow, go slowly into this. Sensory responses, the seeing, the hearing, the tasting, sensory responses, then the contact, not only with the eye, but touching it, then thought creating the image, you in that shirt or in that dress or in that car, and then the desire arises. You follow this? I see the seeing of a car in the road, nice lines, highly polished, etc., the power behind it. Then I touch it, feel it out, go around it, examine the engine. Then thought says, me getting, the creating the image, me getting into the car and starting the ignition, putting the petrol again, driving. <laughs> no, just see, this is actually what goes on, right? So desire begins, the source of desire is when thought creates the image up to the end there is no desire. There is sensory responses, contact, which is normal, all right, healthy. But then thought creates the image, and that begin from that second begins desire. You follow? I see a beautiful vase, see the shape of it, the beauty of it, the Grecian, and all the rest of the world it. And touching it, looking at it, the beauty of it, gradually you create the image, wanting it begins. If this is clear, then the question is, is it possible not for thought not to create the image? You, you understand this? This is the this is learning about desire, which is in itself is discipline. You understand? Learning about it is discipline. Not the controlling of desire. I want you to understand this. Is this clear? Learning about desire, if you learn about something, it's finished. Whereas if you say, I must control desire, then you are totally in a different field altogether. But if you say, look, I understand now that when thought creates the image, at that second desire begins. Now is it possible to see the whole of this movement, the whole of it, not just sections of it? When you see the whole of it, you will understand that thought will not interfere with, a, with its image, but only you see, have sensation, what's wrong with it? Are you understand? No, you don't. <laughs> because, you see, we are all 
so crazy about desire. We want to fulfil ourselves through desire. Right? But we don't see what havoc desire has created in the world. Desire for individual security, desire for individual attainment, success, power, position, prestige. You follow? We don't feel we are totally responsible for everything we do. And if one understands desire, the nature of it, then what place has desire, or has it any place where there is love? Is love something so extraordinarily outside of human existence that it has really actual no value at all? Or because we don't we have not seen the beauty and the depth and the greatness, sacredness of this world. Not the word of the, the actuality of it, that we haven't the energy, time to study, to educate ourselves, to understand what it is. Because you, without love and compassion, with its intelligence, Meditation has very little meaning. And without the whole, without that perfume, that which is eternal can never be found. And that's why it's important to put our house, the house in which we dwell, not only in the house outwardly, but the house of our life, of our being, of our struggle, there to bring complete order. 